Gotta put some lights on here. Uh, yeah, I just woke up. There you go. How you doing, Gino? How you doing? There's my th uh, troll pillow here. Makes me look a little like Gandhi. Um, so we're going to do a quick live stream on AMC and how much, how far. Get rich or die trying. That's the key of this of this live stream. Get rich or die trying. Now look, Abe Father came on the scene, okay, about two years ago, and I was a big AMC cheerleader. I was a big AMC cheerleader because I believed, and I still believe, okay, that there are tremendous, tremendous synthetics, even though Mike the Marine doesn't believe it. I believe it, okay, that there are potentially even more than billions of synthetics in AMC. And that all translated to me to the mother of all short squeezes. But, you know, we have all witnessed so much fuckery that's been going on the last two years at AMC that it's been absolutely ridiculous. Between Adam Aaron, between Ken Griffin, between Gary Gensler, between the Department of Justice, between the dark pools, be, the, 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 the fuckery that all of us have been through in this stock market has been absolutely disgraziada, a disgrace, okay? So a lot of people are getting confused why Ape Father came up with this concept. How much, how far? A lot of people are confused. They're like, this sounds like a scam. This sounds like a grift. This sounds this sounds like it stinks and it's rotten in Denmark. So I, I kind of want to explain how how much how far okay became, you know, an idea of mine. Now what happened was I came into AMC with the purpose of all of us getting the Moaz, the mother of all short squeezes. Now remember I told all of you after the Moaz. I want to do ape, the Ape Mansion. I want to do Ape Island. I want to do all these ideas. I, see, the idea The idea really was after the AMC Moaz, we all are going to live like rock stars. We're all going to live like millionaires. We're all going to be very successful together. What happened is, unfortunately, so much fuckery happened in the stock market like I said, I don't want to keep, I, I I think we all know what happened, okay? That now it seems like we might have got screwed. Now, let me, let, me, let me try to be very clear to all of you. Do I feel it's over? Like, in other words, am I selling my AMC? The answer is no. Am I giving up? The answer is no. I'm not giving up. I'm holding strong. My schlong is long, and I am still very, very excited for the Moaz. What's up? Good morning, King, King Abyss. How you doing, brother? I'm still very excited. But we also have to be a little uh, realistic here, correct? We got to be a little realistic. This could either take an extremely long period of time, or there could potentially be no Moaz, because maybe they're not going to let it happen anymore. Maybe maybe after that, January 28th, the, the special day we all know about with GameStop, maybe th between Holtz, between all these different things going on, corruption, who's on whose payroll, you know, what politician uh, is working with, you know, what market maker, what, you know, again, I would say this is all alleged, but, you know, it's like a circle of corruption. It's like a circle of corruption, and we are not invited to the show. We're not a part of the circle of corruption. So I got to the point where I realized that why not utilize what we already have? We already have a network of millions and millions of retail investors worldwide. Why not Why not take advantage of that? See, everyone thinks the ape father is like a psychopath. You all think I'm crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm actually brilliant. <laughs> okay? I'm actually very smart. A lot of people think I'm a lunatic. It's like you you all simply don't understand something. All, you, all you're doing, all of us, is we're, we're constantly putting our money into a controlled system. 
It's like no one's understanding this. We're putting our money into a controlled, rigged system where Ken Griffin is the puppet master and we're the puppets, okay? And every time we buy stock and every time we sell stock on payment for order flow platforms, we're making this degenerate piece of human trash, garbage, richer of which he controls all the orders, he puts them in the dark pools, and he executes it whenever he sees, sees fit. He can leave buying friggin' orders in the dark pools for months, okay? And between that and the potential synthetic shares, fake shares, phantom shares, that could be unlimited because the SEC does not regulate this shit. I don't think other... You know, the SEC talks a great game. The SEC. Oh, we have no tolerance for naked shorting. But yet when AMC was on the threshold list for like over a month, it didn't even freaking raise Gary Gensler's freaking eyebrows. Now we all are hoping this mother F is going to be fired. That's what the talk of the town is, that he might, he might be fired, but it's all alleged. It's all alleged. Okay. Um, I'm not even going to comment with this stinger hit guy. I mean, he, he's he's just looking to break break balls. So, why did I decide to start How Much, How Far? Okay. How Much, How Far is a plan B. Is a plan B for all of us to still accomplish the same goals that Ape Father wanted to accomplish from the AMC MOAS. Now, you might say, what are those goals? To live like millionaires, to live like billionaires, for all of us together to live a life like we're friggin' Donald Trump, like we're Elon Musk. Actually, Elon Musk doesn't really live that rich. He lives he lives in a box house, but just to live like billionaires. <laughs> okay. Now you might say, A father, this sounds all it sounds very unrealistic. It doesn't seem possible. That's what a lot of... I've been getting this a lot from people. They call me the delusional father. They say you're delusional. I'm not delusional. If I had 100,000 members in how much, how far, that agreed to pay a membership fee of $9.99, that means how much, how far will bring in revenue of $1 million a month. That's $12 million a year. Now, this revenue will be used to acquire assets we all can enjoy. So let's say the first asset is eight, the eight mansion, okay, in New Jersey, let's just say, okay? Do you have any idea what a ridiculous effing mansion that I could purchase for say $3 million or $4 million. Then I could use the remaining money to hire a staff. I could hire a staff of sexy, gorgeous waitresses, okay, who will serve us. I could hire a staff of strongman personal finance who will be the janitor and he will clean up our bathrooms after we shit and piss, okay? Bedpan finance will be the janitor. We could also hire Chad Clifford, we could also hire Dale, you know, triple chin jail, uh, uh, Dale, who could personally clean up the eight father's bathroom. That would be his job to clean up my toilet bowl. Okay. So there's a lot of takes that we could do with just a hundred thousand members. Okay. You have a rough voice. I don't know. Thank you. I guess I don't know. A little bit of a sore throat. Okay. I've been going through a little, uh, the change of weather, the sinuses. So it's a little uh, allergies, you understand? Allergies. Descratiad. Okay. So now, I know what all of you are going to say. Well, Ape Father, what happens if I join how much, how far, but then the AMC Boaz happens? Are you really going to care? So let's say you spend $9.99 over the course of three or four months. Okay. But then you became a multi-millionaire. Are you really going to be concerned over that $9.99? Are 
or whatever it is, $20, $30, $40. Is, is that going to be a concern? Because I actually had a guy ask me this question. He sent me a comment. He sent me a comment the other day. He said, hey, Father, what happens if I join? How much, how far? And I pay $9.99 for four months, and then AMC has the Boaz. So my, my, my reply to that <laughs> is you're a millionaire, right? He goes, yeah, I'm a millionaire, okay? So you, are you really going to be concerned over 40 bucks? You, you, you can't be sure what I'm saying. Okay. So it's kind of like life insurance. Like I'll give you an example. Why do we take out life insurance? Why do we do it for? What's the purpose of life insurance? We don't want to die, right? But dying is inevitable and we have to protect our family. So the reason why we get life insurance is in the event that we pass away, and let's say we don't have a lot of money to our name. In other words, we don't have assets. We don't have a lot of cash. We don't have a lot of savings. Life insurance is basically a plan B. It's a plan B that will set our family up financially in the event that we pass away before we are financially of sound mind, before we are financially stable. That's kind of like what, how much, how far is. How much how far is very similar to life insurance, okay? It's not life insurance. I'm just using it as an analogy. So what happens if you don't become a multimillionaire? Look, I'm not trying to be mean, okay? I know that some people claim they are multimillionaires. The, the guy who's the regulator, you know, the regulator, the regulator claims he's worth about $50 million, okay? I think he's full of shit. I think he lives, I think he's a teenager, who lives in the basement of his mother's uh, house. That's what I believe the, regu the regulator is. But anyway, what happens if, for, for whatever the reason is, unfortunately, you don't hit it big in your life. You don't hit it big. You don't become a millionaire. Okay. By joining how much, how far, for as little as $9.99 per month, you will now have an opportunity to live like a millionaire, possibly live like a billionaire. Okay. So you might say how, okay. Once again, hundred thousand members paying $9 and 99 cents a month will be more than enough money for the ape father to purchase the ape mansion. An another thing I could purchase a limo, a beautiful, gorgeous limo. Okay, I could I could hire a driver. This could be for all of us to just, you know, cruise, you know, go to restaurants, do all kinds of things together. Okay, go to Atlantic City. I I could I, I could buy two or three limos. Okay. We could also buy luxury cars. We could buy Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Rolls Royce Phantoms, where we could all use. Now, obviously, I'm gonna have to get you know, a tremendous insurance policy. We're going to work all that out as well. Okay. Um, I could purchase a yacht. I could purchase a yacht. Okay. That we could all party on. So now you got to ask yourself this question. Would you rather keep $9 and 99 cents in your pocket? Or would you rather have the use of yachts? Lamborghinis, Ferraris, mansions, a staff of Playboy Buddy waitresses, a staff of the best chefs that will prepare gourmet dinners for us. See, I wish I could get all of you to think the way I think. That's the thing. Now, there's another element to this, the element of charity. Okay, how much how far is going to help people. A very good a portion of the money, I'm going to go to people who are homeless, okay? And I'm going to change their lives for the better. I'm going to give them money. I'm going to feed them. We're going to treat them like the movie Coming to America, where I'm going to put the guy in a hot tub with beautiful women who are going to scrub the royal friggin' balls. We're going to clean them up. 
We're going to give him money. The guy is going to think like he's in heaven. He's going to think like he's in heaven. He's going to think he's not going to know what happened. Okay. And it's going to be great video footage, by the way, too. This guy is uh, talking a lot of stuff. Stig uh, Stinger hit here. Oh, my God. Sam the Great is here. Sam, listen to me. I know you say all I do is talk. But, Sam, any smart businessman, listen to me, which obviously you're not, tries to get a group of people together when they have an idea who have a meeting of the minds and together put the plan into action. Sam, Sam, why should all of this just be my responsibility? You know what? You know what I hate about this guy, Sam the Great? Is he's got this concept where everything should just be my responsibility. That's it. In other words, I should take all of my this is Sam the Great's uh Sam the Great's uh you know way of thinking. I should take money that's set aside for my children's future. You understand? I have hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash. So here's what Sam wants me to do. He wants me to take that money. He wants me to go out and, I guess, start giving away tens of thousands of dollars to people. Here's Sam the Great's idea. Then he wants me to buy maybe a car and, and buy this and then share it with everybody. Now, let's say, okay, Sam, so let's say I listen to you, Sam. Can, can, we, can, can we go with Sam the Great's idea? Okay. Sam, let's say I spend 200000 Just hear me out, Sam. I buy an, a, a really nice car that we could share. I give away money to people. Now, let's say at the end of the day, Sam, I only have two members. I, and, and you're not going to be one of them, Sam. So let's say Moon Monster and Mo Money Investing decide to, to join how much, how far, Sam, right? So that means I am getting a revenue of $20 per month. Okay, now I laid out 200000 Does that make business sense, Sam? Listen, I know you're a stubborn Mama Luke. I know you're a stubborn Mama Luke, but I want you to try to take a second, Sam, and use the thing that's called a brain. Use the thing. It's right here, Sam. Okay, use the thing that's called a brain. Sam. How do I know how long it's going to take for me to get members of how much, how far? So your suggestion is I go out, spend all my money, and then I sit back with my thumb up my ass that I'm already down over $200,000 on AMC. Now you want me to take my available liquid cash, Sam. This is what you're suggesting. People say I'm not smart with business. Sam, you're a friggin' idiot. You're an idiot. Okay, so you want me to take my liquid cash that's set aside for my children's future, spend it, and then I got to sit back with my thumb up my ass and hope and pray that Mama Luke's do nots like you are going to join, which you won't. So, Sam, no offense to you, brother. You are not intelligent. No offense. I'm sorry to break it to you. You don't have something called common sense. I Sam, when you say two hundred dollars a week, this guy is such a psycho. Sam, who who goes out to? Do you realize that part of how much how far Sam listen to me? Do you realize that part of how much how far is that the ape father eats out every night? The ape father tips waitresses and waiters hundreds of. Do you know that people love me, Sam? Sam, I have waiters and waitresses that when I walk in, they they completely stop what they're doing. They run to me. Are you ready? As a matter of fact, one of the waiters at Outbacks, Drew, I, he's already agreed to be a contestant on how much, how far, and he's going to attempt to eat 150 ounce. Uh, we're doing it. The next time we go to Outbacks, the, I'm preparing all of you. I'm preparing you. The waiter, Drew, has already agreed to be a participant in how much, how far. So Sam the Great, guess what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to spend my money, Sam. Listen to me. I, I, I might even do it tonight, okay? I'm going to Outbacks. I'm going to give Drew the waiter. He's my waiter. I, I, every time I see this guy, I tip him $150 or more, okay? Okay, Sam. I'm going to give Drew the opportunity to attempt to eat 150-ounce prime rib steak, and he is going to be the first contestant 
on how much alcohol. Well, actually, he's not the first. There was this guy, Brandon, who attempted to eat a 15-patty uh, Whopper. So, Sam, you really have to calm down. I'm going to use my money. I'm going to give people an opportunity, and I'm going to film it. You have to try to relax, brother. You know, smoke some weed or whatever it is you got to do. Calm down, brother. Calm down. No, he can do that at work. He can do it at work. I already, I already spoke to the boss. The boss, Sam, let me explain something to you. I'm a legend at Outbacks. I'm a legend. You understand? I go to Outback, Sam. I spend five, six hundred dollars per seating. Per seating. Okay. They they love me, Sam. I run that restaurant. I could do whatever I want, Sam. All right, he guarantees it won't happen. All right, and, and when it and when it does happen, Sam, are you willing to, to reimburse me all the money I'm spending for that dinner? When it does happen, Sam. Are you willing to do that? He, he just says, we'll see, though. Are you willing to reimburse me all the money I'm going to spend on the debtor? He just says, we'll see. Do you agree to reimburse me? Yeah. You notice how he's not answering the question? Who notices on the live stream that Sam the Great is not answering the question? Will you be willing? To reimburse me the money I spend on the dinner, he just says I look forward to it. <laughs> he makes me laugh, this guy. Sam the Great makes me laugh. He always, this guy always tests me, and I prove. Hey, let's talk about the, the test Sam the Great asked me to do. Sam the Great said, Ape Father, I do not believe you lost, like, whatever, whatever it was, $40,000 at a casino. Right. OK, this is what this is what uh, Sam the Great said to me. He says, if you prove to me that you could show proof that you lost forty thousand dollars in a casino, I will never break your balls again. I showed him proof. I provided him with my win loss statement from the Tropicana Hotel Casino. Sam said, you are a man of your word, a eh, father. I'll never doubt you again. Then Sam says to me, hey, father, show me the two stacks of money. I think you lost money in, in, in Atlantic City. I showed him the two stacks of money. Once again, he, he still breaks my balls. It's like, look, no matter what I do with this guy, Sam the Great. Now, I'm going to make this video of Drew, you know, with the steak, and Sam the Great still going to break my balls. It's like, in other words... No matter what I do with this guy, Sam the Great, no matter what I do, he's going to continue to break my balls. <laughs> there's, there's nothing I can do. I can buy, you want to laugh? Listen, Sam, I can buy a yacht. I can buy an ape mansion. I can buy ape island. And Sam the Great would still be doubting me. He'll still be breaking my balls. He'll be like, now, nah, ape father, you need to buy the ape father skyscraper. This is what he would say. He goes, that's when I'm going to believe you. When you buy the Ape Father skyscraper, you got my vote of confidence, he's going to say. Is this the real American dream? Is this a, the fake American dream or is this the real American dream? I never know who's real anymore. Everybody makes up fake accounts. I don't know if this is the real American dream. So if this is the real American dream, what happened to you, brother? I thought you loved me. What, what, why, were you, why were you ripping me up, brother? The American dream made a live stream saying that I, I'm terrible at money. Uh, I'm not funny. You know, he doesn't understand why I'm doing this thing with how much, how far. Good morning, Kane. How you doing, my brother? So let's get back into, uh, once again, how much, how far. Listen to me. Why can't you all see it the way I see it? Why can't you see it the way I see it? We all want ultimately to live like millionaires. I, I, would, would you agree? We all want to live like millionaires. Isn't that the end goal? Isn't that the end goal? 
to live like billionaires or possibly billionaires, even better. So we wanted it from AMC, right? We all invested. I invested a tremendous amount of money in AMC. As of right now, unfortunately, AMC is basically uh, a loss a loss leader for me. AMC is something that has cost me a large amount of money. Now, I'm not saying I'm not going to get it back. I'm not saying I'm not going to get my money back. I'm holding strong with diamond balls of steel. But I am saying to you that as of right now, AMC is a loss for me. It's a loss leader. It's a loss on paper. So I do have another plan. I'm loading up on GameStop. And right now I'm not, I'm doing pretty well. I'm doing pretty well with GameStop. And to me, GameStop is a five-year plan. It's a five-year plan. I call it, you know, plan to get the upper hand, okay, for my losses. So I, I am I am investing heavy in GameStop besides AMC. But the way I look at it is the stock market is rigged. The stock market is controlled by the 1%. The stock market is controlled by corrupt politicians. The stock market is controlled by people who could be potentially on payroll of billionaires. Okay, now I'm going to say it's all alleged. I can't prove it. But the stock market seems to be very, very, very corrupt. So the point of how much, how far is to have something that is not controlled by the 1%. The point of how much, how far is to have something that for an extremely affordable amount of money, $9.99 a month, it's very affordable, anybody could afford this, will give us the opportunity to live like millionaires. As I gave an example before, if I had 100,000 members of how much, how far, and each member paid $9.99 per month, I could have $1 million a month in revenue coming in. $1 million a month in revenue will be more than enough for me to buy the Ape Mansion. The Ape Mansion will be a place that will be very similar to the Playboy Mansion. It will be very, very similar to living like you have lived. We will have girls, instead of dressed up like buddies, they're going to be dressed up like sexy gorillas. It's all going to have a theme of apes. You follow me? It's going to be like a jungle. Okay. We're going to have a gorilla pool. It's going to be a big pool shaped like a gorilla. We're going to have a hot tub that's going to be shaped like a gorilla. The whole motif and theme of the ape mansion will be of apes and gorillas and a jungle. Your membership will give you access to the ape mansion 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So everything that is, that is inside of the ape mansion, you can use. So let's talk about what that is. If we have the gorilla pool, jump in it, baby. It'll be a heated pool, a heated gorilla pool. Jump in the pool and party. Jump in the hot tub. Warm up your balls, okay? For the ladies, warm up everything. You're going to have a bartender there who's going to serve you alcohol. You're going to have chefs that are going to prepare us meals. Like, see, the way I, the way I envision Ape Mansion, I want to have different chefs. I want to have an Italian chef. I want to have a Japanese chef who does a hibachi grill. You understand? I want to have an Asian chef who's going to cook us Asian food, Chinese food. I want to have all different types of chefs. Now, on top of that, we might have a little room in the eight mansion that could be like a disco. There's going to be a big pole. We could have a couple of girls doing a little dancing for us as we sit back and we, and we relax. And we enjoy the show. The eight mansion is going to be absolutely incredible. And see, I wish that all of you were visionaries. You know, I'm a visionary. See, I could already see the eight mansion. I already see it. It's going to be like the bottom bing. You understand? Your bottom bing, you know, Sopranos, isn't it? We're going to live like Tony Soprano. Okay. 
Now, that's only one asset, okay, that's going to be in how much, how far. There is going to be other assets, such as the Ape Mega Yacht. The Ape Mega Yacht. You want to know something? A long time ago, I'll tell you something. Carnival Cruise Line was auctioning off these gigantic yachts. And this is when they were like on the verge of bankruptcy. Everything was going very bad. And there's still opportunities. So like, but they were offering off these gigantic yachts that normally cost like friggin' 50 million, 100 million for like 1 million, 2 million dollars. I mean, the deal that we could have got was absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. But unfortunately, I did not have the uh, support or the money at that particular time. But again, there's always opportunities to buy these super, super mega yachts. Now, once again, that's something we could all utilize. We could have DJs. We could party. We could have chefs. We could be partying and drinking. We could, we could take this all the way around the Manhattan skyline, this ship. You understand? We could take it all around the Manhattan skyline. All of us could party. All of us could live like rock stars. Now, you might say all of this sounds very unrealistic. It's not. It just takes enough people to just sign up $9.99. Now, I know what you're thinking. What happens, hey, Father, if I decide to sign up and I pay you $9.99 a month, but yet you, you don't have enough members? You don't have enough members to buy the Ape Mansion. You don't have enough members to buy the Ape Yacht. Now I'm stuck paying $9.99 per month for absolutely no reason. This is not true. Okay. I am going to give you immediate perks. Immediate perks. What are those immediate perks? One immediate perk is I'm going to have a section called Members Only Videos. Members only videos. Now, these videos are going to be hysterical, hysterical content where the ape father is going to go to the bar. The ape father is going to drink and party and make an absolute fool out of myself. And I'm going to make you laugh your effing asses off. So while we're waiting for how much, how far to get established, you will immediately have access. Now, this video's will only be for members only. No one else on YouTube will be able to access these videos. So you are getting opportunities for entertainment. Another thing, okay, I'm going to do charity videos, which I'll start immediately. I'm going, listen, obviously if I only have, this guy keeps giving me money, JT14. Can we trust a guy in Jersey? I wish, instead of you keep giving me this money, I wish you would just join How Much How Far. But God bless you. Thank you for your uh, super chat. Okay. This guy, Mark Tube, is a lunatic. Uh, anyway, let me ask you this question. It's very, very simple. Are you a millionaire? Is anybody right now on this live stream, a millionaire. Now, I know everybody's going to say yes, right? <laughs> everybody's going to say, I'm a millionaire, eh, Father, even though I don't think it's true. But I think that you're all going to say that. Okay. Now, you got to ask yourselves this question. How old are you? So let's look. I'm 45 years old. Ask yourself this question. How old am I? So let's say you're in your 20s. Let's say you're in your 30s. Let's say you're in your 40s. Let's say you're in your 50s, or if you're like Lou, you're in your 70s, right? Okay. So, unfortunately, you have to come to the harsh reality. The harsh reality is that you have lived a long time on planet Earth, and unfortunately, whatever it is that you did, whether it is you worked a job, whether it is you were uh, an entrepreneur, you were a business owner, a stock market investor, you are not a millionaire. That's it. That's the bottom line. Now, how much, how far is going to give you an opportunity, okay, to live like a millionaire? 
Okay? So in other words, you don't have to have the pressure anymore of counting on yourself. You don't have the pressure anymore of saying, I have to come up with the next Facebook. I got to come up with the next Twitter. I have to become the next Elon Musk. I have to co become the next Mark Zuckerberg. Okay? All that pressure now disappears because for only $9.99, you could now live just like those billionaires. You could live just like those billionaires. Mansions, yachts, luxury cars. And if that's not good enough, there's going to be a charity element of how much, how far. A charity element where I will help people who are homeless by giving them money, feeding them, changing their lives for the better. All of this, don't you think that's a lot for just $9.99 per month? Tommy's touch. I love you, brother. Thank you for the 99 cents. But consider joining how much, how far, brother. American dream. If you don't get in some bed, bath, and beyond, you're going to feel foolish tomorrow, ape father. I'll look into it. I'll look into it. But let me tell you something, American dream. If this really is the American dream, if this is the true American dream, have you currently looked at the price of gold lately? Okay. Everybody told me since I started my channel, my YouTube channel, they're like, gold sucks. Gold is terrible. Gold is over $2,000 an ounce right now. Okay. So you want to talk about that I'm a, bad, I'm a bad man with money, right? American dream. I started buying gold many, many, many years ago. I am up so much money on gold right now, American dream, that you would fuck, you would shit your pants. You would piss your pants if you... Let's put it to you this way. Take AMC, all the money I lost, I made it back on gold, brother. I made it back on gold. Actually, not only did I make it back on gold, I made even more than my AMC losses on gold. I made even more than my AMC losses. And currently, American Dream, I'm in the green on GameStop. I am in the green on GameStop. Okay, so that comment that you said that I'm not, what did you say? I'm not a good businessman. I'm not, um, I'm not financially smart. You know, I don't want to dis disagree with you, brother, but I'm a millionaire. <laughs> I, I, you know, I don't want to disagree with you, brother. Listen to me, American Dream. You keep saying, I lost money in AMC. I keep hearing people say this over and over and over again. And another thing I heard you say, yeah, that's right. Back to the Future is correct. In 1999, gold was $300 an ounce. Exactly. Gold is over $2,000 an ounce right now. Okay. Now, I have news for all of you. I believe that gold is going to go to over $4,000 an ounce. But listen to me. I am not a financial planner. I don't give financial advice. This live stream is for entertainment purposes only. But I feel gold is heading for over $4,000 an ounce. So, you know, all of you people are talking about stocks all the time. All of you people are talking about Bed Bath & Beyond. All of you people are talking about all these different loo plays. And guess what? You're missing the frigging gold mine. You're missing the even Adam Aaron frigging knew gold. Adam Aaron. Our own Adam Aaron knew that gold is the way to go with Highcroft, right? I know that he took a, a beating on that, but that's different. You you can't listen to me. You can't compare Highcroft to gold. Highcroft is a mining company. There's so many different things that go into mining companies rather than buying physical gold, rather than buying gold bullion. There is a major difference between buying gold bullion or investing in a mining company. There's a big difference because mining companies understand they may never find gold. They may, Just because you're a gold mining company doesn't mean you're going to find the damn gold. Okay, so 
There's a very, very big difference between investing in a gold mining company and investing in gold bullion, investing in actual physical gold, which is what I do. Okay. That's right. Gold has a $13 trillion market, yes. I don't buy too much silver, to be honest. Like, whenever I buy silver, to be honest with you, I convert it to gold. Like, I'll give you an example, right? I might wind up going out and buying, like, you know, a 10-ounce silver-like ball. You understand? I think silver's around, what, 25 an ounce or something like that, right? So... I'll buy I'll buy one silver bar and then I'll buy two silver bars, three silver bars, four silver bars, and then I'll get up to about 10 silver bars, right? Then once I have 10 silver bars, I'll bring that 10 silver bars into my, my gold store I shop at and I'll convert that into a one ounce American Eagle or a one ounce Buffalo gold coin. And then I'll keep the cash or I'll keep the difference. You follow me? See, gold uh, Gold is very easy to store. Gold is very easy to store. Silver is not easy to store. Silver is very hard. It's. I tried it once. Like There was a time in my life where I was trying to store silver, and it just got to the point where it just became impossible. It was just too hard to store it. Gold is very, very easy to store. Your safe deposit box, very easy. Very easy to store. How is the wife doing? Um, you know, how can I explain it? She's alive. Um, she's, uh, a strong woman. She's fighting very hard for her family. I love her with all my heart. My children love her with all their hearts, but her condition has not changed. She still has the uh, tumors in her brain. Um, and we're looking into a lot of different options. You know, uh, they're hitting her with a lot of different options. You know, one of those options is brain surgery, which is something we don't want to do. Uh, another option is there's clinical trials. There's there's uh, things that, that she could do. Like there's something called T-cell treatment uh, that uh, apparently uses the healthy cells in your body to attack the tumor and to attack the... Uh, you know, obviously the cancer cells. So we're looking into a lot of options. Currently, she's taking steroids right now, which uh, reduces the inflammation of the tumor. It helps her with the pain. And, um, you know, fish oil pills, by the way. Fish oil pills are excellent. Excellent. It's actually done. Fish oils, let me tell you something. Out of all the other things that we've been trying, fish oil pills has been doing a number. For her, omega three, omega three has been doing great. But thank you for asking, James. God bless you and your family. We take it day by day, James. That's all we can do, brother, in life. We take it day by day. Look, American Dream has a situation. Okay, you know, Bed Bath Beyond. You may be a hundred percent right. But you know, you know, Bed Bath and Beyond has been going crazy. You had you had the CFO who killed himself. He committed suicide. That guy, which got made. God bless him and God bless his family. You know, you had Ryan Cohen, who had this big gigantic plan with with uh, Bed Bath and Beyond, and then he dumped all his shares, and and ran away from it. You know. And, and and from time to time, I, I by the way, I made money on American Dream. You don't even know this. Me and uh, Tommy from the Bronx jumped into Bed Bath and Beyond. I think it was like a what was like a month ago. I made like two thousand on it. I jumped in really quick when it was around a dollar, and I think it rolled up to about five bucks. So I, I I want you to know I play Bed Bath and Beyond. I do I do play it, but in all honesty and fairness. It's a, an in and out situation for me. It's an in and out situation. I get in, I get out. There's no way I'm holding that shit. <laughs> there is no way I'm holding Bed Bath to Beyond. So you can do whatever you want to do. But to me, Bed Bath to Beyond, it's a scalp play. It's a scalp play. You get in and you get out. That's it.
Thank you for your prayers for my wife. Back to the future. And thank you for your prayers for my wife, American Dream. Now, I just want to say once again that everything I am saying on this live stream is not financial advice. It's not. Okay, so don't listen to me. I am not a financial planner. Everything I say on this live stream is for entertainment purposes only. But you know what I've had the most luck in in my life with money? Can I just tell all of you? The most luck I've had has been in gold and has been in real estate. My, my whole life. Like, I look at everything I've ever done in my life. I look at everything I've invested in. Every single time I've invested in real estate, I've owned I've owned three houses. Every time I've invested in real estate, I made myself a very, very large, significant profit. Every single time. Every single time. Okay. My current house, I'm up about $300,000 on from what I paid. I'm up about three. Hundred thousand dollars. And it's what I'm saying. That's why I love it when people say I'm not a I'm not a smart guy. I'm not, you know, when I negotiated this house, the guy who was selling it wanted three hundred and eighty thousand. I believe I got it for three thirty. I walked right into fifty thousand dollars in equity. I walked right into it because the guy was in a rush. Because of work purposes, he had to move to a different state. And he had to get out quick. He had another buyer on the house, but it was a contingency deal where the guy had to first sell his house in order to buy my house. I walked in cash, cash money, baby. No contingencies. I walked in. I got the deal. And I walked into 50000 in equity. See, look, look. Did I make a mistake with AMC looking back? Look, did I make a mistake? Yes. I'm going to tell you the truth. Um... I, I don't know. I just, everybody was talking about it. It was like this worldwide phenomenon. It was like everybody was was just saying this was going to be the mother of all short squeezes. It wasn't just me. It was our friend Lou. Okay, that everybody, you know, Lou is making more AMC videos right now than I think anybody on YouTube. Lou is making more AMC. Lou can't stop talking about AMC. Literally every single video that, that Lou puts out is about AMC. And you want to know what I find funny about all of that? Lou doesn't even own AMC. Lou never owned AMC. You're all a bunch of idiots that you watch this guy. He is playing all of you for fools. That's what he's doing. That's what Lou is doing. Lou is playing all of you for fools. All this guy cares about is making money on YouTube. That's all. What do you think? What do you think? You think this guy cares about you? Listen to me. This guy just wants to make money on YouTube. The ape father actually cares about you. That's the thing you don't understand. You don't understand. Like, like, look, let me start from the beginning. When I first came onto the scene, I had people calling me up. Ape father, I have no money to eat. Ape father, I have no money. I, I'm living in my car. I can't stay in a hotel tonight. Ape father, I have a, a husband who's beating me up. I need to get out of here. I need a hotel room. I could go on and on. See Diddy. Ape father, my house burned down. My mother passed away. I have a baby on the way. I have no place to live. I personally donated. $10,000. I'm talking about from the beginning of when I started to my YouTube channel till now. I have donated over $10,000. Oh, thank you, Tommy Touch. Here's a tip for the broke boys in the chat. Okay. I really, really appreciate the super chats. I want all of you to know that, but I would appreciate it more if you would consider joining How Much How Far. You know, like if you go to any one of my videos, you're going to see a join button. You're going to see a join button. And you also see it on my channel. It's next to subscribe. You see the, you see join. Okay. You press join. Listen to me. If all of you would do this, if all of you would join how much, how far, you simply don't understand that we are all going to live like effing millionaires. We're going to make history. We're going to be celebrities. I wish that you all thought like me. We're going to be the most famous people on earth. 
everyone on planet Earth is going to talk about us because we're going to have everything. We're going to have every luxury asset that exists on planet Earth. We're going to have mansions. We're going to have luxury cars. We're going to have yachts. We're going to have private jets. We're going to have helicopters. We might even have hotel casinos one day, okay? And again, it's not going to be an ownership situation because I know what all of you are probably thinking. Ape father, will I own the yacht? No. Ape father, will I own the mansions? No. Ape father, will I own the Lamborghinis? No. That's why it's called a membership. It's a membership. Meaning that it's like a timeshare. You share in all of these wonderful things. Ape Father, let me take the Lamborghini for a drive. Ape Father, let me sleep at the Ape Mansion. Let me have a chef prepare me a steak dinner. Let me drink Dom Perignon. Ape Father, let me jump into the gorilla pool. Ape Father, let me take me and my girl into the gorilla hot tub. And I want to drink and pour champagne all over her body. Okay. You're sharing in all of the assets. Hey, Father, let me go on the yacht. Let's party together. Let's do shots of Patron. But don't you think that's worth $9.99 a month? I, I mean, I'm asking you. Don't you think that's worth $9.99 a month? Don't you think that's worth $9.99 a month? I like a helicopter, but I'm not sure if Chinese air security will let me fly over to see historic China. I never said that we're going to fly to China, okay? I never said that. I never said <laughs> crazy. But um, listen, you have no idea how far, how much, how much, how far could go. You have no idea. Like, it, it could literally be limitless. Like, I want you all to imagine every single luxury thing that you ever wanted in your life. Like, I know all of you, at one point, all of you, all right, here, let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Who wants a Rolex? Did you ever want a Rolex in your life? Now, maybe you have a Rolex. We could buy Rolexes where, you know, hey, father, I'm going out with my girl for a dinner. I want, I want to borrow a Rolex. You can wear the Rolex. Now, of course, you're going to have to sign... Uh, a disclaimer, a contract, because obviously if you would steal assets, I'm taking your ID, um, you're signing a contract, you will be held personally responsible if you steal any assets. I'm just telling you right now, you will be personally responsible. I will have lawyers invo involved in this, okay? So believe me, it's not just going to be a simple process that I'm going to give you a $25,000 watch, and then you're going to steal it. It's not going to happen. Same thing with the cars, same thing with everything else. But let's put all of that aside for a second. Let's say you always wanted to just wear a Rolex, okay? You're going to have an opportunity with how much, how far to do that, okay? You're going to have an opportunity. Let's say you wanted to wear an Armani suit. Let's say a, a Barone suit, okay? Let's say, you know, you wanted the most expensive shoes. Part of how much, how far could be we do that as well. We buy very, very expensive clothing. We buy very, very expensive jewelry. Let's say you wanted to get a gigantic gold, you know, necklace. Let's say you wanted to get a, a, a gold diamond pinky ring. In other words, see, how much, how far will have no limits. I, I just basically, you want to know what how much, how far is. How much, how far is going to be an opportunity for all of us to live like millionaires? Let's say you got a girl that you want to impress. Hear me out for a second. You come to me, right? Hey, father, I just met this gorgeous girl tonight. You don't understand how effing gorgeous she is. I want to impress her. I say, what can I do for you, my brother? Hey, father, I want a mink coat. Just let me get a mink coat. I want to throw it on this girl's body. This is what I'm going to do for you as a member. I'm going to give you that mink coat. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to give you a suite. 
in the eight mansion. You understand? For you to take that girl up to the eight mansion, take her with the suite, put that friggin' mink coat on her, and then underneath that mink coat, she's gonna be naked. You're gonna take off the big coat. I'm gonna give you a bottle of Dom Perignon, and you could you could get strawberries, you could get whipped cream, you could put the whipped cream all over her body, you could put the strawberries on her, suck on those damn strawberries, chocolate covered strawberries. So are you starting to see? Being a part of how much, how far is giving you an opportunity to do things that you won't be able to do. That's it. You won't be able to do these things on your own. Bad with money. I don't know why you're saying I'm bad with money. I, I just don't understand uh, American dream. I'm not bad with money. I'm great with money. <laughs> I just, I, I don't know where you're getting this from, brother. I, I really don't. I'll tell you what, American Dream. Come hang out with me in Jersey one day. I'll tell you what. Come take a sw swim with me in my $75,000 in-ground pool. This is what I want you to do. You, you and your family are invited to come to my house. Listen to me. Take a swim with me in my $75,000 in-ground heated pool. Okay? Then could you, me and you, we'll do videos together. Come come with me in my seven-person hot tub. I'm going to buy a bottle of Dom Perignon. I'm going to cook you a beautiful, delicious porterhouse steak from Brutos. They make the best meat. They have the best meat. And then I, I want you to tell me at that point if you think I'm bad with money. <laughs> when you're eating, okay, when you're eating a 30-ounce a porterhouse steak, drinking Dom Perignon, in my hot tub, and then swimming with me in my $75,000 uh, pool. Tell me if you think I'm bad with money at that point, okay? Is that fair? Is that a fair Is that a fair uh, gesture? I don't know why he's saying I'm bad with money. I just don't understand it. He's basing everything that I invested in AMC. American Dream, you invested in AMC, okay? You know what I find, find funny? All the same people who are critical about me that invested in AMC invested in AMC themselves. There's only one person who didn't invest in AMC. That's Lou. <laughs> you want to know who didn't invest in AMC? Lou. Lou didn't invest in AMC. Lou is playing all of you like effing fools. He's playing you like your jackasses. Johnny Knoxville. Johnny, Johnny Blaze, I have said this once and I have said this a million times. I am a self-made man. My father did not give me an inheritance. I don't know how many more times I have to say this to you people. There is an actual Google document that you could go online and if you look up my name, you will see in the state of Florida that my father has set up a trust for my children, Michael and Sophia. That's it. That's it. All of the money that my father did, gave was to my children. I did not inherit anything. All of the assets were sold, Johnny, and all of the remaining money went into a trust, including the house he lived in. All of the assets were sold. All of the money, he made a tremendous amount of money in Tesla. A tremendous amount of money was made in Tesla. The money went into a trust. I can't keep repeating the same things over and over again. If you knew my father, Johnny, my, my father put me in prison. Listen to me, listen to me. Does this sound like a father who wants to give me money? Okay. My mother left my father. My, my mother and my father got divorced. Okay. And my father left my mother no money. He, my, my, my mother was very petrified of my father. And unfortunately, he convinced her to sign an agreement where she basically gave up her entire friggin' net worth. It was, it was pretty crazy. <clears throat> and um, that's it. Okay, my mother's family hated my father. 
They did. Listen, I hate talking about like this about my father. May he rest in peace. My father was a good guy, but he had a, a mental illness. My father, and God, may God bless his soul. Okay, may God bless his soul. My father, if you knew him, my father would not give me hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. My father would complain if we went out for a dinner and I ordered a beer. Okay. If I ordered a beer, my father would 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 complain. Okay. So look, you guys can keep fantasizing all you want about that I inherited all this money from my father. I earned it. I worked in sales for over 20 years of my life. I've earned the money I have. My father did make money in Tesla and the money went into the trust, Johnny. That is correct. No, Johnny, my mother's net worth, he wasn't interested in her job. My mother and my father were married, okay? Now, what happened was all of my father's assets by law my mother was entitled to 50% of all of his assets, meaning his investments, his stocks, um, the home that he lived in, the real estate. So what my father was interested in, Johnny Blaze, was not the money my mother earned from the, the job she had at the Board of Education. He wasn't interested in her income. He was interested that she was entitled to 50% of his net worth. Cabish. Look, I really don't like talking about the dead. Look, my father passed away. He was who he was. Hey, you want to know something? At the end of the day, my father did something wonderful for his grandchildren. My father did something wonderful for his grandchildren. For that... I have the utmost love and the utmost respect for him. Okay? That's it. Can we leave it at that that you want to keep carrying on about this? Let's just let's just leave it at that. Okay. My father cut me with a knife, 14 stitches, stinger hit. Well, that's not good. That is definitely not good. You know something, I don't like, I know all of you think that I like discussing my personal family business, but do you want to know why I do it? Because all of these trolls on the internet and all of these haters on the internet make up lies about me. They make up lies. Like it all started with Teddy time, you know, like, you know, he, he came out with this video one time where he said, I stole my children's inheritance. <laughs> and he said, um, he said that there's a link on Google. This is what he said. If you look up Richard Lavoy fraud, he said that you're going to see that a judge, I, I guess, you know, uh, came to the conclusion that I stole my children's trust. So obviously this was defamation, slander. Obviously this was lies. Okay. So I have to defend it. So, but then when I defend it, people say, oh, but hey, Father, why are you talking about your private business online? Same thing with my wife. People said my wife really doesn't have stage four breast cancer. They think it's some sort of a scam. So, once again, my wife made a video showing, actually, it was crazy what she did. I, I want you to know that I didn't even want my wife to do this. She did this on her own. She made a video of herself. It's on her channel. Um, she hasn't been doing videos lately. She hasn't been feeling so great, but I told her, I think she should, she really should continue doing videos because it's good for her head, you know, but she hasn't been doing videos for a long time, but she actually made a video of her showing herself getting chemotherapy. Okay. And yet people, even after seeing that video, like there's this psycho woman, uh, Cindy, uh, Lou who. And she's like, that doesn't mean anything that she's in a hospital and there's, there's a, an IV. This woman, Cindy Lou, who was a complete psychopathic lunatic. 
What's up, Angie? It's good to see you here. Chad made Teddy do that to you. You're probably right. Me, I love American Dream. I love American Dream too. Even if American Dream decided to get a little, a little, uh, you know, nasty with the eight father, I still think that American Dream is a is a great guy. Cindy Lewis, Chad Clifford. You're probably right. All, uh, yeah, I would. I wouldn't be surprised at all. You know, an alternate account. Well, Johnny Blaze, they offer uh, chemotherapy in a pill form. And I think um, when people, when the, the cancer progresses, they just want to start making things more comfortable for patients. You understand? Because what happens, Johnny, I know you don't understand this. When you have tumors in your brain, you start to get very off balance. You understand? Like it becomes hard to walk, to walk straight. There's been times where, I don't want to say this, my wife scared me. There was times where she almost walked into a wall. It was very scary, brother. And, you know, they offer you the chemotherapy by way of pills to avoid just the whole process of just constantly going into a hospital. So, look, look Johnny, you can look all of this up online. Everybody thinks I lie about everything. Johnny, just do your own due diligence on this, all right, brother? Go, go online and look it up, brother. Do me a favor. Look it up. American Dream was only playing with you, Mr. Richie. Okay, good. I like to hear that. Good. I love him. Tell Angie, tell American Dream I love him. Tell him that there is uh, no beef between us. Johnny, please. My grandmother died from cancer. My stepmom died from cancer. So please don't make those assumptions again. Johnny, first of all, let me say this to you. God bless your grandmother. God bless her. God bless your stepmom, okay? Seriously, I really mean that from the bottom of my heart, okay? I'm not trying to make any assumptions. I just feel like you're the one who's doubting me, brother. You know what I mean? It's like, it, I feel like you're trying to get me a, like a gotcha. You're trying to like ask me a, a question to trick me, all right? I, I have nothing but kind words to say about your family, brother. God bless your grandmother. God bless your stepmom. God bless them. My wife is actually here right now. It's recent, Johnny. It was a recent thing. She started doing treatments at home recently. That's all. See, what happened was the cancer it progressed. And when the cancer progresses, they have a, a, a new a new level of treatments. You follow me? My, uh, my wife's here right now. Um, I do got to get going. I've been doing this live stream now for about an hour and seven minutes. So listen, I'm going to be doing a lot of live streams because I really, really want to continue to promote how much, how far. I think in time, you know, it's going to happen. I know right now a lot of people are not going to do it. I, I already said it. I know me love you, Miss Jennifer Angie says, and she loves you too. Thank, thank you, Stinger Hit. God, God, God bless you. Thank you for, for the kind words for my wife. Um, I think in time, you'll realize that how much, how far is really a very sincere gesture for all of us to live like millionaires, to live like rock stars, to live like the, the, the luxury life. You know, all the eight father ultimately wants to do in his life is enjoy life to the fullest. We know that life is very short. Life is very, very short. And I don't know about you. But I would rather be on a mega yacht, you understand, cruising the Caribbean, you understand, drinking uh, Dom Perignon and smoking Cuban cigars. I want to enjoy life, you know. I want to be in the eight mansion. I want to have a chef prepare me the most delicious gourmet dinner. Now, the thing is, I don't want this life just for me. I want to share this life with all of you. I want to share it. I want all of us to have this life. And if you all thought like me, you would realize it is very, very, very possible. With if, if enough people would just pay $9.99 a month, all of this will become a reality. Like, it really is. Like, it all depends. You know what it all depends on? How many people join this membership? That's it. And the next thing you know, 
will all have the best of everything. The best jewelry, the best clothes, the best cars, yachts, mansions, helicopters, planes. It's all possible. But it's not something that's going to happen overnight. You know? And you have to realize that too. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. It's got to be. See, you want to know what I think would happen. Can I tell you the truth? If I could just get enough members, you want to hear what I feel? If I could get enough members just to buy the ape mansion, just to buy the ape mansion, and you see this gigantic, huge, heated gorilla pool, and you see this gigantic, heated hot tub, a gorilla hot tub, and you notice that all of this becomes a reality, I think at that point, you're going to say, you know something, ape father did it. Ape Father did it. This guy is no joke. This guy is 100% for real. He's for real. And I think that's what's going to get more members. And that's what's going to get more people to do it. I got to get to like first base. But like I said to all of you, at the worst case scenario, if you spend $9.99, here's what I promise you. You want to hear what I can promise you? I'm going to make members only videos. I'm going to make members-only videos that are going to be hysterical content of me in the bar, partying, drinking, most likely making a complete ass out of myself, but making you laugh your effing ass off. These videos are going to be members-only videos. So until we accumulate enough members to actually get the eight mansion, you're going to have access to members-only videos. It's very easy. Every time you see one of my videos, you're going to see the join button. Every time you go to my channel, next to where it says subscribe, you're going to see the join button. Listen, you tried everything else, correct? You tried investing in the stock market. You tried, you tried working jobs. How long have you been working in your careers for? Okay, you're still not millionaires. I'm not trying to be a jerk off. Look, I know that a lot of you are taking me and, and you're taking the things I'm saying as insults, but you got to face the facts. You've been living on earth a long time and you're not a millionaire. You don't have yachts. You don't have mansions. You don't. You don't have private jets. You don't have helicopters. You don't, you don't have these things, Okay. How much, how far is going to give you an opportunity where we could all have it? Can't you understand that? And no one is telling you, by the way, to not inspire to be a success. No one is telling you to not inspire to become a millionaire on your own or to become a billionaire on your own. How much, how far, similar to a life insurance policy, is just a plan B? It's an affordable way, $9.99 a month, to get all the things a millionaire and a billionaire has. And there is going to be a charity element where we help people who are homeless and we help people that are on the verge of financial or possibly health, health, major health problems. Like, wouldn't it be a beautiful thing to go to a, a woman who has stage four breast cancer? Let me tell you something. When people have cancer, the last thing that they should worry about is money. It will, they, and it's so, my wife was telling me a story one time. There was a woman who had stage four breast cancer and she was working two jobs to support her family. Isn't that nuts? She was working two jobs while she has stage four breast cancer. That's crazy. That's, I, and I really have to say our government sucks. Our government sucks. You know, Joe Biden, I don't want to get too political, but, you know, he always talks about how he wants to beat cancer and all this shit. Why don't you start by helping people who have cancer financially? Everyone who has cancer, especially if it's stage four, if I was the president of the United States of America. I would give every family a grant, okay? They should receive, and not just one grant, multiple grants, they should never have to worry about financial problems again because cancer is so devastating. It is so heartbreaking. It is so terrible 
okay, that how can a person be worried when they're battling cancer about working jobs, supporting families? Now, I know what you're all going to say. There's something called social security disability. My wife was denied. My wife was denied for social security disability because she stopped working at a certain point in her life. She started getting pains. She didn't know it was cancer. It was 2009, okay? She stopped working. When she found out she had stage four breast cancer, I believe it was 2017, she applied for social security disability and social security turned her down because they said there was too much of a lapse of her work history of when she stopped working. All right, well, anyway, let me go. We'll be in touch soon. Uh, my wife is looking at me. She's like, honey, I'd like to spend some time with you. So I got to spend some time with my beautiful love of my life. This live stream is not financial advice. This live stream is for entertainment purposes only, as well as all of my videos. Peace out. V for victory. God bless.